Hi everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of our FIFA 16 career mode series. This is Steve with Tangle Mike Gaming. Today we're going to go ahead and do the semi-final and the final of the Champions Trophy. It's a preseason tournament that I entered us into just so we could uh, hopefully raise a little bit more money for uh, the transfer budget later on in the season. Uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to commentate throughout this video. I'm just going to let uh, the in-game commentators take care of it just because uh, I think the, uh, the job that Martin Tyler and Andy Gray do is fantastic. Uh, the way EA pulls it off is, is pretty good as well. It just kind of adds to the, uh, the atmosphere of each goal. I will let this game get kicked off. We have to wear our white jerseys because they have two blue jerseys, it looks like. Let's go ahead and get started with the first game. You can tell, talking to the players here who are taking part in the Champions Trophy, they're getting caught up in the uh, rather serious nature of it. It is pre-season, but they, they want some silverware. It's the semi-final today. Yeah, it is easy to forget with this kind of atmosphere in this stadium that it is pre-season. This could be a chance. A chance! What a fine save. Moving the opposition around with their play, these two players. The score! Well, the fans are shivering. I think the players have the advantage in the snow. They're running around a bit, but staying upright is not too easy. It isn't easy at all, and uh, there might be a change of footwear if it continues. Right, work out. The shot's on! Very good stop here. This is a soft landing. So it's half-time, and who's going to get to the final is going to be decided in the second half today. Yeah, we haven't learned an awful lot about these two teams. Certainly difficult to call a winner. Time for some fresh legs here. Number 17. Well, it's exciting, very exciting. We go into the second half of the semi final of the Champions Trophy. Lynch. Here's a chance for... And shoots! Both teams fighting hard to get a goal to go ahead. Still all square. Worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But tries to punch it away. You can see the deflection there. Corner. Pass. Now the shot! And it nettles into the corner of the net. And he's just decided to put his foot through it. But does he get lucky? I prefer to say that he's a really skillful finish into the bottom left. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Triple substitution now. And they're still surviving at this important stage. And is this the moment for them? And shoots! On narrow margins in the match and in this incident. Yeah, not far off. That would have made a difference to the outcome if it had gone in. It is an own goal. I don't think there's 
much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions so often, and sometimes it does go wrong. Well, we're ready to go here, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, at the final of the Champions Trophy, this pre-season competition. We've seen the players in front of our eyes get fitter as this tournament has progressed and uh, they'll be giving it the full Monty today. He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. Three in his last three. The talisman for the team here, no doubt. Now we can check on the lineup. Well, often when we look at these uh, three at the back formations, it's designed to get two strikers in with five in midfield, but it's even more enterprising, this. It is. You've got your two wing backs who will be bombing up and down, trying to provide the width, and those two lads wide up top will play fairly narrow I think this is the lineup well this is the the setup we think from the opposing team we're not sure we must stress that but I do feel that they're reacting to what they expect from the home team well more often than not the opposing manager does know what kind of system is opposite numbers going to play and that looks to be the case Martin so uh, matching up like for like don't often see this Is the referee Wilson Mountland is the man in charge today. Lot of talk. The shot's on. That's a very worthy effort. She asked outside the post. Totally, totally done the defender. And he's in there with a header. Oh, what bad luck there. It's an own goal. Oh, what a shocking moment for the player. Look at him, he's distraught. Different angle on it here. Could be a very costly own goal. We could be in. We've got room to go on to goal. He's got his shot off now. And he's taken the chance beautifully. And the keeper clawing at thin air there. He had no chance. see this again this goal possession given away once more this could be a chance Going for more glory, even though they're already in the lead. Connor. Shots on here. He scores right into the bottom corner. And that showed real finesse, just to place it into the bottom right-hand corner. Here's the goal again. Sliding in and 
and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off forward. It could be route one stop now. We could be in. That could open them up. Cut off. And there it is, the goal. Well, he's hit it hard and he's hit it first time, but perhaps the keeper could have got more on that. Let's see the replay now. Well, he's the player coming off. Let's have a look at his goal. Well, they have done it. They have earned the right to call themselves the champions of the Champions Trophy. Yeah, and winning is a lovely habit to acquire, and they've done it early on in their campaign here. That's a good presentation ceremony here. The players enjoying it. They recognise that it is pre-season, but there's nothing like winning, Alan, is there? Nothing like winning, and uh, they've had to put a lot of hard work into this, actually. Because they All right, so there you have it. Champions of the preseason trophy. It's pretty exciting. So that should earn us uh, a little bit extra money. Let's take a look and see. I think we picked up $120,000 for our transfer budget. So for a team our size, that's probably going to help out tremendously. All right, let's poke around and take a look and see who our goal scoring leaders for the tournament were. Go ahead and sort this. Looks like. Irvin Herrera, no surprise, six goals in four appearances. Jeremy Lynch, two goals. Ambo, Barklage, Lurie, you guys all had a goal as well. Nice job. So this should end episode three. Thanks for hanging out. Please subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.